I'm speaking with Tony Asta, guitarist for Metal Blade recording artist Battlecross today. The band has a new album coming out called Rise to Power. Thanks for taking the time to talk with We Love Metal today, Tony. Absolutely. My pleasure, Bill. Thanks for having me, man. Great. Um, hey, Rise to Power, uh, I've been listening to it for a week or two now. It's yet another quick blast of the Battle Cross brand of thrash metal. Um, short but intense 36 minutes. Uh, a lot of the lyrical themes seem to be focused on overcoming obstacles and succeeding against those who would see you fail. Is that an accurate interpretation of what I'm hearing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, that's the main gist of it. Um, I think on this record, uh, Kyle really focused on kind of that theme that we've been having, you know, on the, on the last two records as well. But this time I think it was a little darker. I think, um, this album was a little less, um, focused on, um, I guess all the positive sides, a little more focused on, um, the darker, more, I, I don't know how to explain it, but the darker, more sinister side of just kind of looking inward um, at yourself and kind of um, admitting, you know, the things that maybe you could have done better or whatever, and then and then facing those things head on. Okay. So for me, like the music's definitely a little more, um, it, it came out a little more serious, I think, a little stronger, um, and I think that goes with the with the lyrical content as well. Is it's a little more serious, a little more, a little less, um, I guess, kind of not not so much happy go lucky in a sense because we never really were that way, <laughs> but it, right. a little less like you know like yeah you can do it a little less of that and more like I guess in a more punishing way so kind of mixing you know the more punishing attitude that we have of our more brutal songs but then making that in a, in a positive light so. Okay. Um, that's, that's my interpretation of it anyway. Yeah. Um, well, you, you spoke musically about being a little more serious, I guess. Um, and why I found you guys kind of maintain your, your core sound. Uh, I also heard some kind of striking eighties, uh, influences in a couple of tracks, <laughs> especially cool. like spoiled. Uh, it was like, whoa, yeah. that, that took me right. You know, I'm an older guy, but that took me like right back to the, the middle to late eighties. Is that awesome. something you guys uh, tried to do or just kind of um, worked into the music? It just kind of came out that way. And, I mean, I didn't really think to me that it sounded 80s, but as soon as Kyle heard it for the first time, like the demo, he's like, whoa, dude, that's so 80s. <laughs> he was kind of like, I think he was a little discouraged for that reason because he's not really into that. Uh-huh. Um, he's more into, you know, the more brutal stuff and, but he also likes pop music. So it's kind of funny. Um, but, uh, like, you know, me here on the Don, you know, write our wrists and stuff. We just kind of really write what we want to hear and, and the feel of that song is just what we were feeling. So it just kind of came out that way. It wasn't intended to really sound eighties, sure. but, um, but I definitely know what you mean though. It has kind of, it's comparable. Like you can hear that influence, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's not. I wouldn't say in a bad way, like, you know, a, a hair band kind of 80s. It's more the, the traditional metal that we were hearing from uh, from Europe and maybe the, the West Coast at that time. So, um, oh, yeah, dude, rock and roll. Yeah. Um, is there any particular song on the album that you would say represents the album as a whole? Uh it, it's kind of tough, I think, to yeah, pick one it, out, but <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I'm not really sure um, because I think every song is so different from each other, uh -huh. um, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that it, it turned out that way. Um, one song to kind of sum it all up. Um, I, one of, one of my favorites is I'd have to say the path, which is track ten. <laughs> mine, um, and mine too. That the, the really? riff is just. I got to rewind every time to, to hear that opening riff. Uh, awesome, bro. You get into the, the super fast part. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think because that, that song kind of has offers everything in it. So it kind of, you know, has the acoustic intro and then yep. it has like the, like the melodic, you know, fucking, you know, kind of anthem, you know, stomping feel. And uh, then it just kind of kicks in kind of like in a Metallica-esque kind of way where the riff's by itself and then everybody kicks in with the vocals and stuff. Sure. So. 
that was kind of, um, I think in that way. And then it has like the, like the swingy bluesy kind of solo and the bridge and then like an right. epic outro. So I think that song kind of encapsulates there. It, it captures all those things in, in one song. Uh-huh. Uh, but as far as like representing a whole ra- album, I, I couldn't say exactly which song, but that that's one of my favorites. So. Sure. Sure. Um, any track you're looking forward to playing live besides all of them? <laughs> so. Right. Um, <laughs> Definitely spoiled, man. Um, just jamming uh-huh. that song, like even before we went in the studio, it just felt like it, it was just fun to play. And um, that and uh, the climb is really fun to play. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, we'll see. I know we're definitely playing those two songs for the C release show, and then we'll be trickling more songs in as time goes on. So okay, well, my my vote's for the path. So <laughs> right on. Awesome, dude. I dig that track. Um, Hey, I've noticed uh, Battlecross uh, is uh, very military, pro-military, I'll say. Uh, you guys offer tickets on vet ticks all the time, uh, and your last tour last year was the Winter Warriors tour in honor of veterans. Um, what's the band's tie to that? What's your, your uh, you know, what, what draws you to that? Oh, well, I think, um, well, for me personally, um, I am very, uh, supportive of our, you know, our troops and our vets and stuff like that, you know, um, in spirit. So, um, whatever way I feel we can, um, help the cause, you know, um, I'm all about. And, I, and that's just something that everybody in this band is, is completely into. So, you know, there's other kinds of, um, cool uh other other things out there that we could you know contribute to uh you know like you know animal shelters or whatever else sure um but i think that you know there's all kinds of great causes out there but i think that you know supporting our vets is one of those big things that we're all everybody in the band is on board with so that's why we kind of chose to to focus on that and another thing too um some of our imagery is uh, like soldier themed. So I think that it kind of goes with that too. Um, which is just kind of cool, I guess. But, um, we're not like, I don't want people to get confused and think that we're all about like, or pro war or anything like that. It's just, right. You know, our guys come home and, and some of them aren't, you know, don't have the best treatment or whatever else, even though they should. And some of them are, you know, are fully taken care of. And it's just one of those things where, there needs to be like a lot of focus on that. And I feel like if we can just have some kind of small part in that and just have some kind of positive, you know, thing, to, you know, some kind of spotlight on that, which I know other people do too, but it's just cool to be a part of that. So, you know, we're just supportive in that way. Sure. No, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, just kind of a different twist. I think you guys have, uh, compared to a lot of bands. So, um, okay. Hey, uh, some, Things about you, uh, you individually, personally, um, how did you get into music in general and metal specifically? Um, <clears throat> well, I grew up, uh, listening to music, um, all the time because my dad loves music and, uh, you know, he listened to, uh, he was there for, you know, some of the greatest bands on this planet. So, you know, like Black Sabbath and whatever else, you know, just that era. Right. Of, uh, you know, where everything was happening. And, uh, so growing up, you know, he always had, you know, the classic tunes on that just kind of are ingrained in my blood. So, um, I just, I think just growing up with that and just feeling like that's the norm. That's like, that's regular music to me. And, you know, when, if I'm out in public someplace and, you know, I hear some, something else, it's just alien to me. Like I want to hear my classic rock or my, you know, classic metal. <laughs> like that's, that's normal. You know what I mean? So, um, and the reason I say that is because one time I had said that I'm like, can we put something normal on here? And someone's <laughs> like, what's normal? I'm like, you know, and they're like, oh, okay. And it's just, I don't know. So that's kind of where I'm coming from with that. But as far as um, <clears throat> getting into metal and, and playing guitar and stuff, it just has a lot to do with um, Metallica. Honestly, you know, Metallica was the one band that as soon as I heard them, like I just fell in love and from friends of mine who were really into them. And um, some friends had played, you know, they were playing guitar and, and I saw how they were playing and they were playing the Metallica riffs and I really want, I want to do that. I was like, Oh, that sounds so awesome. Like, I love that sound. Uh-huh. And they're like, yeah, that's a power chord. I'm like, Oh, 
And I'm, and I'm like, oh, how do you do that? Oh, that's just, you know, like chugging. I'm just chugging. I'm like, oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, how do they do that? And oh, we're just harmonizing the guitar. I'm like, I want to do that. So See, it's just kind of just. Yeah, I you was kept really digging inspired. and. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of how, you know, it just developed. And so and I started playing guitar when I was 12. So. Uh-huh. Um, ever since then, you know, that's like the golden age, you know, when you're like a young adolescent where you're soaking in all the music and you want to like learn everything so oh sure a lot of people start around that age i think but yeah uh i think so and maybe in in north america it's because kind of the the school system is designed like that i mean i started playing drums about that age and you know for me it was deep purple and kiss and and uh hell yeah so you know uh geez who else well rush of course was a, a really big back in the early eighties with moving pictures and all. So Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, how about outside of music? What do you like to do? Uh, well, it's, uh, changed over the years. Um, nowadays, I mean, I'm married. I have a kid on the way and, uh, all right. Congratulations. uh, Thank you very much. And so, uh, Chish and I are just, uh, you know, trying to keep it together and, um, we, you know, I take care of the house and things like that. And I don't know. I just, I like to spend time with family and friends and just keep it cool. I mean, I used to be pretty crazy, you know, back in the day, but now it's like, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm, just, I'm 30. It's not like I'm like 50. I'm over it. It's not like that. It's, it's more like, you know, I just know what I need to do and I'm just kind of like focused on that instead sure. of kind of just all over the place, like, you know, five, 10 years ago. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty chill and I, li- I just, you know, I like my beer and whatever. So I like playing guitar and it's just pretty simple. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, hey, the band's getting ready to cross the border here this weekend, I think, uh, to go yes, play in sir. Montreal. Uh, yep. I, I got to think you guys are pretty pumped for that. Oh yeah, man. Um, we're really uh, excited to be on Heavy Montreal. We play Saturday. On the Blabbermouth stage at 7:45, and uh, we're really pumped, um, especially because we've done it. We did it uh, three years ago in 2012, uh-huh. and we know we know what to expect in this time around. So it's kind of like you know we're ready to throw down, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's going to be pretty awesome. So we'll get to you know hopefully see some other bands that you know we've been wanting to see or whatever else. And I still got to look at the list, but. Um, I mean, I know there's a lot of press that day, so we're going to be kind of in and out in between, but sure, it's going to be a good time, so we're really looking forward to that. Okay. Uh, are you going to throw out some couple of new tracks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. totally. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I won't be there, but uh, hopefully uh, anybody listening uh, will be ready for it. Um, you, you mentioned earlier uh, the, the CD release and all that, um, and you're getting ready to go on a, about a month-long tour of the eastern U.S. Uh, mm-hmm. So can you talk about that a little? Uh, yeah. You know, you, you, you're doing like three CD releases and then just regular tour? Yeah, actually, uh, we're doing, uh, we're doing four CD release shows. Four? Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, it starts on August 21st, uh, at the Token Lounge in Westland, which is kind of, you know, it's a suburb of Detroit. Right. So that's going to be like our hometown show. That's, that's basically the venue that we grew up going to. You know, I've been seeing shows there since I was 16, and that's like the place, that's like the place we grew up, you know, grew up in. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to have our CD release show there on the 21st, and then the 22nd will be, I believe, in Chicago. Um, I believe it's at Reggie's. Yeah, and, I think so. And, yeah, and then the following day on the 23rd will be in Kokomo, Indiana, and then the 24th will be in Cleveland, Ohio. And then right after that, we're going, diving right into uh, the Guar, Butcher Babies Tour. Ah, okay. So, yep, and then that goes from the 25th up through September 18th, I believe. And then we're doing, it's called Slang Metal Fest. Um, and on the nineteenth, so that should be pretty cool. And where's that? That is in Dansville, Illinois. I want to say. Oh, or, okay. Yeah, yeah, I believe. I just looked at it like not too long ago. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in Dansville, though. So. Yeah. No, I know where that is. So okay, maybe I'll I'll make the trip down. Cool. Um, hey, aside from actually uh, being up on stage and playing, what do you like to do while you're on tour? 
Uh, well, um, I like to drink beer. Yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> a big one. Um, I don't know, man. I, I kind of look at myself as kind of the the guy who tries to keep things in check. So between, <laughs> between me and Huron, the other guitar player, like we're, you know, we kind of kind of run the ship, I, I think, um, while we're on the road. So um, if we're not, you know, on the computer, you know, entering in QuickBooks expenses or, you know, taking pictures of three seats or something. Sure. Then we're, we're probably either driving or sleeping or drinking beer somewhere. Okay. Um, we do like to uh, occasionally uh, have a barbecue or whatever. You know, we got our little propane grill. We'll, you know, go get some chicken or something, cook it up, like at a park or whatever. Um, but uh, very rarely, you know, we get hotels or anything like that. It's, you know, maybe once every two weeks or something, we'll get a hotel and just kind of treat ourselves and, you know, pamper ourselves a little bit <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. but uh you know um, i don't know I, i'd say you know it's it's we're just pretty chill and you know you eat when you can sleep when you can you know it's just kind of one of those things when you're on the road you just kind of have to roll with the punches and and just keep up with that so um as far as having like free time to do extra stuff you know that's kind of like in the moment when you can we can figure that out so right you know what i mean so okay cool hey all right um well, I have uh, one final question for you, and uh, we'll wrap things up. Our website is called We Love Metal, and I think you've already kind of answered this, but why do you love metal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, I, I love it just because it sounds sounds right. You know, it sounds, you know, the metal that, that I really truly love and relate to is, is just, it's. I guess it's just in my nature to just feel it you know what i mean and it's just one of those things where you just feel it in you and you, and you can't explain it to anybody else if they don't get it you know it's just we know why we love metal and as far as you know the music and uh just relating to that just the feeling and sometimes you know the lyrics you know i can relate to sometimes not and mostly it's just the music the way the music feels to me that i relate to sure um, because you know half the stuff you can't really understand but <laughs> um, you, know, you know what I mean. You know, yeah. it's just like you know, I love Metallica, but I, I can't really relate to having you know a coke addiction. You know what I mean? So it's like I can't, I might not re- be able to relate to that song, but I love the music and I and I feel that. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to say. Sure. And you know, I, I love you know a typo negative. You know, it's just it's something about it is just amazing, and I, I just love it. Or Black Sabbath, or you know Thin Lizzy, or whatever. It's just something about certain bands just really hooks me and. And I love it, and I'm and I'm passionate about those bands. Um, the other thing too that I really love about metal is is just the community of people who like metal. Um, I feel like just growing up, those were the people that you know I felt like I was closest to and I could relate to, and that I was a part of, and as far as a community or like a family or whatever you want to call it. And so that has a lot to do with it too, you know, just my peers and the people, the, my friends and the people that I'm hanging out with, you know, they're into metal. And, and that's just really like it goes up together. So I think those things combined is just just where I fit in, you know. So that's why I love it. All right. Awesome. Hey, uh, again, thanks for taking the time today. And uh, to all the fans out there, be sure to check out Battle Cross on tour coming up. And the new album that will be out very shortly on uh, Metal Blade. So thanks for taking the time, Tony. Thank you very much, Bill. Have a good one, man.